Oh, hey people, so uh, it's almost 12.15 in the morning. I was just about ready to go to bed and then I got this message on my video. Um, the last video I did on, from the, the Collar Factory video. And I thought it was an interesting question. I thought it was a good idea to answer it. Basically, the question breaks down to, and I'll post the question down below uh, probably tomorrow. Um, and so if you're just watching this um, between now and tomorrow afternoon, then there's not going to be a thumbnail and there's not going to be uh, this question down below. Um, but if you're watching it after the thumbnail, there's a thumbnail up and there is a um, question that, you know, I did that <laughs> you're watching it like 12 hours or like it's more than that after I've uh, posted this. Um, but the question kind of breaks down to should a slave come to their master with a collar or have um, or wait until the master gives them a collar and one thing I need to make really clear up front two types of collars there is a play collar which is the kind of collars that exist over on the collar factory and then there's a slave collar these are two very different things they are meant to have different purposes. A play collar is something that people wear to play, you know, to go to play. It's, it's exactly what it is. Um, it is a collar that is not meant to be uh, really a sign of anything. If you see somebody at a club wearing a collar, that does not mean they're owned. It just means they have a collar on. It does usually mean that they are submissive um, in nature or that they are a slave um, but it does not mean that they are owned slave collar on the other hand that's a completely different thing I did a video a long time back and it's probably one of my most emotional videos and when I do all of the things about putting the um, the question in I'll put a link down below uh, to that video and I have very strong feelings about about collars. They are for a particular purpose. We live in a community that has very broad definitions of when somebody should be collared. I have very specific ideas about when somebody should be collared. And it's not a collar is not something that you give lightly. A collar is like a wedding ring. It's that simple. It is meant to be something that is as permanent as you can be in this community. You, if you give a slave collar to someone, I mean, you can give, you know, a collar at any time. You can collar somebody technically the, the first day you meet them. Um, they really become Velcro collars after that. Um, but collars are something that are meant to be earned. Play collars are something that you can give any time or that they can buy for themselves. But a slave collar is something that is something that is meant to be um, meant to be bought and given to the slave. You give a slave collar when it is the appropriate time. It may not happen right away. It might take several months. It might take a year. To, you know, I don't I don't think that um, I don't think that the slave should be the responsible one of buying it. The master or the dominant, uh, specifically the master, should be the one to have to buy it. And there's a very specific reason. You're the master. They are your slave. This is now becoming something that is yours. You are responsible for that. And one of the things that is responsible for that is buying the collar. And it should be something that they can wear most of the time. Now, if you got a big metal, you know, big metal collar, most likely they're not going to be able to wear it all the time. Big leather collar, they're not going to be able to wear it all the time. A necklace, something simple, something that if they wear to a family event or they wear to work or they wear someplace outside of you, no one's going to know what it is. They're just going to think, oh, she just likes wearing that particular necklace. They're not going to question it. They might go, oh, that's a nice pretty necklace. 
and she'll go, yeah, you know, yeah, this is, I really enjoy, you know, I was given this to me, to me by my friend, boyfriend, whatever, you know, vanilla term that they use to describe you. But it should not be something that somebody can point to and go, what's that? Why are you wearing that? There is a difference. My girl has two collars. Her play collar, which is the one I have here, and her actual collar is the one that she has at home. Um, I actually, uh, for Christmas, gave her a picture frame that had uh, two little um, things using the, the uh, I think I talked about it on my last vlog, um, the Surugu, uh, little plastic little nubby things that are up in the corners so that she could actually put her collar on display. And again, it's not going to be something that if her kids see it or her family happens to come by, they're just going to think, oh, she just likes displaying this piece of, piece of jewelry. They're not going to know exactly what it is. And that's exactly what it should be. It should be something that when it comes down to it, no one knows exactly what it is. And it should have meaning. Any collar that you give should have meaning. Like I said, it's like a wedding ring. It is the most important piece of jewelry they will own. It is the one piece of jewelry that if all else fails, they will try to save. This is something that is important to them because it's from you. If they come to you with a piece of jewelry, don't you know? Don't just go through their jewelry drawer and go, aha, this is your collar. No, you go out, you buy it, and it should have meaning. The collar that she has has a big, um, big heart with a key in it, or a key, a key lock. Um, yeah, the the, the old-fashioned um, looks like the where you, you know, you know what I mean. That symbol has a meaning for me. A heart, um, a heart with a with a key, um, key lock, um, keyway in it. Um, that is something that is that I again. It's you know, almost twelve, almost twelve thirty at night, and I have to be up in five hours. Um, it, it has to be that important to you. It has to be important to you. Has to be important to them, and they have to know why it's important to you. So it becomes important to them. Having a symbol for yourself is important. Having, um, having colors, having things that are important, and knowing the difference between a play collar and a slave collar are vital. You need to know this thing. This is something that is rather, rather important. There are always little things that exist that only you will know about and that only the people in the outer world will know about or are the only people that know, that know you who are in the life know about. But the people in the outer world have no idea what it means and that's the way it should be. So... I am dead tired and I am rambling on here. Like I said, know the difference of the types of collars. I'll probably do, do a couple videos in the future uh, because this is going to probably go on my big list of, um, as I'm throwing my headset around, uh, my big list of, uh, um, of topics, um, what different collars are and what different collars mean. So. Um, but that's kind of it for now. Uh, anything else, you know where to hit me up. Be well and safe.